Okay, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to determine the correct descending order of a polynomial. And then after I've done that, I'm going to show you how to determine the degree of the polynomial. And I'll explain the degree here in just a second. But let's move to the correct descending order. Now, what does that mean? What do I do when I'm looking for a correct descending order? Well, to descend means to go from highest to lowest, doesn't it? So I'm going to look for the different terms in here that go from the highest term to the lowest term. Now what do I look for to determine that? Well the first thing is basically it's a two-step process. So step one, look for the variables and place the variables in alphabetical order. Variables in alphabetical oops alphabetical order. Okay. Now in this particular example I've got just all X's so I don't have to worry too much about that. The second thing I'm going to do is on my step two I'm going to look for the exponents and I'm going to place those exponents place exponents in order from highest to lowest. Okay, so let's go back and look at our example. When I look at all these X's, I'm just noticing that the highest exponent that I have is 4. So that one is going to be, let me write that step 2, that's going to be my leading term, or the first term in my polynomial. Now I'll just look real quickly to see if there's any other x to the fourth, because I might have to add or subtract them, and I don't, or combine like terms. So I can get rid of this one now. Now let's go to the next one, which is x cubed, right? And I'm noticing that I have one here and one here. So basically in my mind what I'm doing is I'm adding these two, or subtracting in this case, two together. And if you have 2x cubes minus 6x cubes, you end up with negative 4x cubes. Let me just go ahead and write that down. So that's my next term in my correct descending order, and I get rid of those guys. I combined those. Now I look to my x to the seconds, and I notice that there's only one of those. So let's put that one next. I can just make that my step two, and there's my step three. Then I look for my x to the first. There's another one. And then finally, I'm looking for the whatever's left, the number, and there's negative six. So let's bring that all down. And that is my correct descending order. Again, remember what I did. I looked at the variables first and see if they're all in alphabetical order. In this case, they all were x's, except for this one, so I don't have to worry. That's going to be at the end. And then I looked for the exponents, and I placed them in order from highest to lowest. 4, 3, 2, 1, 6. Correct descending. The only other thing I looked out for was that whether I had to combine any like variables, and I did in this particular case. Okay, so that's done. Correct descending order. Next question, what is the degree of the polynomial? Well, basically, you go to each one of the terms, and you add up the exponents in that particular term. So if I added up the exponents there, it would just be 4, wouldn't it? Add up the exponents here, it's 3, 2, 1. And even though numbers have exponents of 1, the degree on a number is actually just 0. So we're just going to say the degree is actually zero. That's slightly different from exponents. I'll just make another video for you on that one. Whichever term has the highest number is the degree for the whole polynomial. And in this case, it's the four. It's the highest. So, step four, the degree of this whole polynomial is four and that's how you determine the degree. 
Okay, now let's do something a little bit more complicated, because that one was fairly simple. Okay, let's look at the next problem. Now notice in this particular polynomial, I have combinations of x's and y's. Here's just a y, here's just an x. And we'd follow the same two steps that we did up here. I'm placing the variables in alphabetical order. So x's come before y's. So I'm just going to look at just the x's to determine which ones come first. And it looks like well, this one has just y, so let's just get rid of that one. We're not going to even consider it. Right? Here's an x cubed. Here's an x cubed. These are x to the second. Here's an x to the first. So really what we have to look at are these x cubes. One of these two will be the first term in my, poly my new polynomial. Now how do I determine which one of these two goes first? Well, if you look in a phone book, you'll see that like A comes before AB. And using that same analogy, X would come before XY. In this case, X cubed comes before X cubed Y, since X cubed and X cubed are the same. So this one is going to go first. Okay, again, just think of a phone book. So I'm going to say negative X cubed cross that out, plus x cubed y, cross that one out. Let's go to the x squared now, there it is right there, plus 2x squared y, let's go to the next one, here's x to the first, minus 3xy squared, do I have anything other, any other x's at first? I don't, so now I go to my y's, and this is the only one that has a y by itself and that's my last term. Okay, so when I look at that, they're in correct descending order. Alphabet, 3, 2, 1, nothing. No, no x. It doesn't really make any difference what the y's are, even though you'll notice that they're increasing here. That doesn't make any difference. You only look for the first letter in the alphabet. Okay? Now let's look at the term of this polynomial. Let's go through each of the terms and add up the exponents. That one is 3. That's 3 plus 1. That's 2 plus 1. That's 1 plus 2. And that's 3. Which one of those is the largest? Clearly this one is the largest. So, the degree of this polynomial is 4. Okay, I hope that helped. You need to probably practice these just a few. Just remember, descending order means going from highest to lowest terms. Just like ascending would be going from lowest to highest, but we're just looking about descending right here. And the way you do that is to look at the variables, put them in alphabetical order, go to the first one in the order first, and then you check the exponents and go from the highest to the lowest that way. If there is a tie, like we have down here with the x cubes, think of the phone book and just put A before AB. Okay, good luck to you. I hope that helped.